Joe's going to get a couple more than that. Okay. Come on up, Joe. Come on up, Joe. Okay. I knew Don myself. I went to grade school with him in high school. He was uh, three years older than me, but uh, uh, a couple of quick stories uh, involving Don. Um, until I was about five or six, my parents lived on the west side of Olympia, and they wanted to move out of the city into the country, so they moved to Tumwater. <laughs> when I attended kindergarten and first grade, I walked to school, to Garfield. Uh, when I moved to Tumwater and began the second grade, I had never ridden a school bus. Um, the bus stopped in front of my house, and as I got on, I'll, I, I'll never uh, forget to this day, um, I was the last person to be picked up, and there was one seat left uh, right by the bus driver. As I sat down, it startled me that everybody on the bus was singing. This went on for a couple of years. In fact, I believe that it was normal that everybody on the way to school was supposed to sing on the school bus. I, I later learned that this was rather unique. I later found out that the boy who was in charge of the singing was sitting in the back and his name was Don. He was teaching his friends on the way to school the lyrics and melodies of songs. A lot of them were by uh, Hank Williams Sr. and Homer and Jethro, if you remember who they were. Um, but I guess it showed that Don brought people together in music from the earliest ages. I remember Don in grade school winning talent, uh, all school talent as um, assemblies in the sixth and seventh and eighth grade. I can remember uh, one girl, a friend in uh, grade school, she went on to become a song queen here at Olympia High School as a cheerleader. But she told me, she said, I hated to go on uh, and perform after Dawn because no matter how good she was, she couldn't uh, live up to Dawn's expectations. I remember Dawn winning, winning um, citywide talent shows that used to be held at the old community center downtown uh, next to the present uh, Olympian um, newspaper building. In 1972, I was teaching at uh, Western Illinois University in a small town in West Central Illinois. Buck Owens and the Buckaroos came to the campus one night and I decided to go to the concert, not to see Buck, as, even though I enjoyed him, but I wanted to go see Don. When the concert was over, I sent a note backstage by the way of an usher uh, to be given to Don. A few minutes later, Don came out. Our visit was brief because uh, their tour bus was packing up and uh, was anxious to get going for another gig in Chicago. But I met Don, uh, introduced myself. I reminded him about the days of singing on the bus, uh, going to grade school, and winning all the talent shows at Tumwater Grade School. We talked about mutual friends and teachers at Tumwater Grade School, Olympia High School. Uh, I mentioned his next door neighbors who were acquaintances of mine, Ken and Ron Balsley. I believe Gretchen Christopher's name came up. Don did not know that Ron Balsley had died in a tragic train accident. He was very startled by this. All too soon, Don had to leave, so he shook my hand and said goodbye. I'm not sure uh, that he really figured out who I was, but he, but he seemed rather shocked, impressed, and perhaps thought it was weird that he would run into someone who knew him from Tumwater, Washington, in a small town in West Central Illinois. A few months ago, C uh, Country Music Academy Artist of the Year, Brad Paisley, mentioned in an article that Don Rich was one of the two most influential artists on his career, and I don't think that's uncommon either. Uh, Don Ulrich exemplified the accomplishments that come from hard work and dedication. His musical talents, his friendly and engaging ways of bringing people together harmoniously, and his loyalty helped develop one of the most successful country music groups ever. Tonight we honor Donald Ulrich, the great Don Rich, as distinguished alumnus of Olympia High School, and we induct him into the Alumni Hall of Fame. Go ahead.
The Alumni Association would like to present to the Alrich family this uh, plaque, Distinguished Alumnus Hall of Fame, given by the Olympia High School Alumni Association Award on this date, 2009. I don't know who to give it Go to. Give Marlene. Marlene. <laughs> I uh, just want to thank everyone for uh, being here tonight, and um, we'd like to honor the, uh, or thank the Alumni Association and the Hall of Fame Committee for honoring our dad in this way, and um, also like to thank Bill Curtis for arranging it and, and uh, being patient with us in providing the information that we provided, and Charlie for the excellent presentation. There's footage on there that I haven't seen, yeah, it and uh, it was just amazing. So and, it's always uh, startling to see stuff and, and to hear facts like the Elvis Presley fact that I, hadn't, I had never heard. So um, it's just thrilling. We'd also like to thank some of uh, our dad's friends for being here, Boyd and uh, Bud. And uh, we're, just, we're just thrilled that his memory could live on and uh, we're just really honored. Um, after spending some time here, we see where, it, where his, his uh, I guess, genuineness came from. And uh, we're just thrilled and honored to be a part of tonight. And uh, thank you, and thank you for keeping Don's memory alive. Thank you. So why do we take the time to bestow these honors? Well, it reminds us of the potential and the true greatness that we all possess. Such fine folks do come from Olympia High School. We recognize the elements of greatness so as to encourage more of it. Our honorees exemplified hard work, the quest for excellence, pursuit of knowledge, teamwork, refinement of craft, loyalty toward friendships, family, and country, all merits in the shaping of fine ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for pausing to reflect on these fine alumni. One more note to alumni. Uh, Principal Grant has requested the alumni take an interest in supporting a few important programs that are without sufficient funding. These programs underpin the principles of No Child Left Behind and the prevention of sports injuries. In a time when economic pressures are squeezing everyone, including education, this is no time for us to abandon those students who are in need of our support and encouragement. Alumni will be reading more from the Alumni Association in the coming weeks about their opportunities to help. Thanks to Bill McGuire for assistance in coordinating tonight, and thanks for Jonathan Wakefield running projector, Rachel Lang on the video camera, and Lisa Curie on camera in the front. And Mr. Grant, thank you for the dedication and hard work you show, involving others in problem solving, encouraging fine traditions, as you carry the torch of leadership for Olympia High School. This concludes the alumni portion of tonight's program. We want to thank you for joining us uh, tonight as in helping us bestow these honors.